Hey, welcome to my channel and to week three of our challenge. Before we get into that, I just wanted to let you know right quick that David's mother passed a couple nights ago. Um, it was expected, but like he said, even though you know it's coming, still, you, you know, but she was in um, very declining health. She lived to be 89 years old, so she had a long life. And um, so if you remember him, I would appreciate it. But I did want to let you know that before we start talking about our challenge. Um, this is our self-care week. This was a um, suggestion by Barbara Hazel. She went, when I had asked for different um, ideas, that was one that she put. I thought, well, that's good. So this one will go from Monday the 29th through Sunday the 5th of J um, December, if you can believe that. So I just have here, why is self-care important? This is, this is what I... This, this is a sentence I found online. It's not my sentence. Clinically proven to reduce or eliminate anxiety and depression, reduce stress, improve concentration, minimize frustration and anger, increase happiness, and improve energy and more. So these are some of the things that can also cause us to overeat if we're anxious or depressed. We tend to overeat or, or make um, poor choices in our food, maybe not healthy choices. We're stressed. We eat. When we are frustrated and angry, we eat. When we are these other things, if we're happy, if we can improve our energy and our concentration, then we can focus more on eating healthier foods and maybe not making those bad choices. So this main, this self-care I have down here helps us maintain a healthy relationship with ourself. And what, what came to my mind when I was thinking about that was you can't pour from an empty cup. We can't give to others if our cup is empty, and we can't give to ourselves if our cup is empty. We've got to maintain ourselves to be able to help others, and to even help ourselves, we've got to maintain some sort of relationship with ourselves to let us know, hey, you're worth it. You're worth, and I got a list of things down here, like we'll get into that too. Um, but I'm talking about renewed energy. It helps you focus. Things that we can do for ourselves can renew our, um, our, like boost our confidence, get our energy going more so if we feel better about ourselves and things that we can do to relax, to take a breath, to let our, let our shoulders go down. I worked for a lady one time that says she was so stressed. She was tired of her shoulders being up and around her ears because she was just, you know, tensed up all the time. And so these are things we need to do to kind of take control of that. Then in turn, we can take better control of our um, food choices. So I wrote down a list of things, and this is not an exhaustive list, but it's a lot of things that I could come up with that we can do for self-care. And I know that you can think of plenty more. And I want you to tell me below things that you plan on doing. Now, I'm thinking we've got seven seven days in this challenge. I'm not going to say you have to do, I mean, it'd be nice to do some kind of self-care every single day for ourselves. But I also know that we have lives and we're mothers and wives and grandmothers and all these things that, it does pull us in, in all kinds of directions, but I say if we can pick at least three of those days, just three of those seven days to do something nice for ourselves. If you can do it every day, if you can carve out that time every day, then do so. Do Give yourself that time every single day. But if you can't, try to pick three days and do something for yourself. And these are some of the choices that I have come up with. Shopping. <laughs> Of course, that's going to be one on the top of my list. Shopping is a form of self-care for me because it just 
It just is. It makes me happy. Get your nails done. Do them yourself. Just paint your fingernails. Get a massage. Read. Listen to music. Just just put your music on while you're washing dishes. Or it, it, music behind anything. It, they say music soothes savage beasts. I believe mu music. Music has a way of calming me down when I'm in my car more than a lot of things do. Oh, the next one I have is a long drive. Combine your music and your long drive. Listen, get in your car and say, I'm going to drive 10 miles. Pick a direction out of your city. Go five miles and five miles back, and there's your 10 miles. I don't care. Just say, well, I'm going out to this part of the country, and I'm coming back. Maybe you don't live in the country. Maybe you're going out to another part of the city, and you're coming back. Just get in your car. If you don't want to listen to music, then put on dead silence and just go away with your thoughts. That's what David does in his truck at night. That's when he says he does his best thinking. Journal. Journal something. That's either making one like I do or writing in one like a diary. This is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to do a foot soak. I love a good foot soak, but I don't always take time to do it. Light a candle. Just if if you you have candles sitting around, light one of them. Don't just look at them. Light it. Play with makeup. Maybe you don't wear makeup on a regular occasion. I don't. I have makeup. I know how to do makeup if I want to do makeup. So play with some makeup looks. Like like when we were kids and teenagers. You know, teenagers we love to play with makeup. Do your hair. Play with your hair. Listen, I got curling irons and things when I used to have hair, and then I cut all my hair off, but I still have, you know, different curling accessories or whatever. I thought about here for, I think I got a straightener. I thought about a while getting it out and just trying to do something, you know, which it won't stay in there, but still, I could have fun playing with it. Wear perfume. We had a whole video practically about wearing perfume. Don't wait for a special occasion to wear perfume. Put it on for yourself. Take a walk. Do a puzzle. Take a bath. That's one thing. When I get my knees fixed and I can get up and down, I'm getting in that bathtub. Woo, I'm going to soak for three days. <laughs> take a nap. Maybe you just don't normally take a nap, but you need a nap and you don't take the time. Take the time to take a nap. Here's a big one. Here's a big one for me. Turn off your phone. Turn off your phone. If it's a distraction for you, then turn it off. Call a friend. Call a friend that makes you laugh. Call somebody that's going to uplift your spirit. Write, here's a good one. I, I found this one online. Write a list of some of these ideas. Some of them I thought of. A list of compliments to yourself. Try to think of all the good things about yourself and write it to yourself. Like, okay, this is what I like about you. Don't go to the negative. You, you can worry about the negative some of the time. We're doing self-care. Write the list of good things. Compliment yourself. I think that's a good idea right there. Make a vision board. I used to have one of those back then, and I took it down to hang those in to put craft stuff in. Then I took some of my craft stuff out. So I really have room for another vision board if I want to start one. Dance. Just start dancing. Dancing. Dance in your kitchen. Dance in your living room. Dance in the parking lot of the Walmart. Listen, I don't care. I was watching a TikTok the other day. Of course, I was watching TikTok. And uh, the girl's outside of Walmart, and she was just doing this dancing. And while she was doing it, this man walked over to her, and he started dancing with her. And it was hilarious. Exercise. If exercise makes you feel good, and you hadn't made time for it, make time to exercise. Color something. Get some adult coloring books. I don't care. Get some kid coloring books and some crayons. It don't have to be adult coloring books with um, like gel pens or pen, um, color pencils. Get you a kid's book and some color crayons and just go to town or any other kind of artwork like paint or, you know, magic markers or some people do those diamond paintings, which whew, I think I would go cross-eyed, but do any kind of artwork, just any kind of artwork, any kind of hobby that you have. Watch the clouds. Go outside and remember how we used to lay around and look at the clouds and try to figure out what they look like. Go outside. Just take a few minutes to look at the clouds. Sleep in. Now there's one. I slept in this morning. 
I slept until five o'clock. I'm usually up at three, sometimes before. I slept in. I was up at one, got me something to eat, laid back down, slept till five. And the thing is, I went to bed probably at eight o'clock. So while my sleep is not a restorative sleep, still, that's better than three o'clock in the morning. Meditate. Maybe meditating will bring you some kind of um, inner peace and center you. Sing. Just like dancing, sing. Just belt it out. You don't have to be in the shower. Just just sing to the music or sing to yourself. Watch a movie. Either on TV or at the movie theater. Here's a little um, tidbit of information. I didn't know if you know this or not. But you don't have to always go to the movies with somebody. You can go by yourself. If there's a movie you want to see, then by all means, go see that movie. Either sneak your snacks inside or splurge and get the popcorn and a drink or get you a candy. Something. Go to the movie. Or if there's a, a TV movie you want to see, take your time out to sit down and watch it. Don't do like me and like peel around while it's on in the background. Actually take the time and go see the movie. Binge watch a show. Now, you know I always have Criminal Minds on, and I'm doing other stuff when it's on. Sometimes I'm sitting there watching it, sometimes I don't. But if there's something you want to see, take the time to binge watch you a couple shows. Eat healthy. Now, that is something we're trying to get ourselves feeling good to where we want to eat healthy. Well, we can maybe eat healthy as self-care not waiting on us to feel like eating healthy. We can just eat healthy. And sometimes that's hard. We uh, we wouldn't, be, listen, we wouldn't be sitting here in a position needing to lose weight if we already knew how to eat healthy and we practiced it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Here is the biggest one that I could think of. And I made it the last on the list. It's, it's the biggest, 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 self-care thing you can do. Are you ready for this? Say no. Just say no. You don't have to do everything you are asked to do. There are plenty of things we have to do as all those people I mentioned. All the hats we wear, there are things we have to do just by virtue of wearing those hats. But then there are little odds and ends of things we don't have to do. Just because somebody says, will you, your answer does not have to be yes. If you just don't have, if you don't have the energy or, or the whatever it is you need to do it. I am reminded all the time of that episode of Friends where Ross is wanting to put his furniture from Ikea together. And they ask Phoebe, does she want to come help? And she goes, well, I would, but I don't want to. She knows how to say no. And it wasn't because she made up any excuse. She just said, I don't want to. <laughs> maybe you don't know how to say to somebody, I don't want to. And maybe that would hurt their feelings. So you can you can think of a way to say no without hurting somebody's feelings. You can. I've done it. I do it. I don't do everything I'm asked to do because I just don't have it in me to do so. So if you are constantly, constantly, constantly giving in and doing and being pulled every single which way that you can imagine, then just pick one of them. Just pick one of them and just say, no, not today. Maybe tomorrow. So... That's all I have for you today. Um, let me know in the description box if there's anything that you plan on doing for self-care. Anything maybe you can suggest to everybody else that's a good idea. Something I didn't go over because, that, like I said, that's not an, an exhaustive list of what you can do to um, pamper yourself, so to speak. It, it, it's a shame we're, we're so busy and we're so pulled that we have to consider taking 15 minutes for ourselves as pampering. I think that's sad. That, that's, that's sad. We should just be able to do that as people like that. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, not sure when I'll be back. 
we won't be doing the tag this weekend. I'll go ahead and this week I'll go ahead and um, tell you that we're just not. David's not in a place where you know he would feel like doing a tag, and I'm not going to do it. You know, in reverence to him, um, he he's doing fine. It's just it was still his mama, even if it was expected and and everything. You know, so but he's he's doing good. So anyway, that's it for me, and I will just see you on my next video.